right, thanks. So, so I had a question, if, if I can go. Of course. Absolutely. Uh, thanks. <clears throat> so I'm getting a lot of questions uh, with regards to when we hit the, the 500 million in trading and, um, and when we uh, either get acquired, when the Indotech gets acquired or goes public, what are we still going to be allowed to trade in our Daisy app the way that we currently are? Or what's the process going to be? Because yeah, the question I, I, is coming I, because I we want to understand we want to understand the longevity uh, opportunity yeah. that we have to to compound. I love, basically, I love the question when when leaders come and ask the question, "Hey, what are we going to do when we reach the five hundred million?" I I get excited because this is what we talk about every day as founders, right? Yeah. This is our our conversations. So uh, uh, some inside information for you guys as leaders. Uh, we have we have invested a very, very large amount of money to uh, structure and set up a fully licensed and registered uh, hedge fund in multiple jurisdictions that will cover global presence. And ultimately, what we're going to be able to what we will be doing is transitioning into exactly what you're talking about, a model where people at that time will be able to continue to participate openly and fully in the DAISY model. Uh, uh, through digital currency, through the decentralized apps and smart contracts, and continue to pr uh, participate. But it'll be more of a hedge fund model, of course, still with, with the rewards plan attached to it. So we, can, we plan on going into a full retail mode after the crowdfunding phase ends. Uh, we will be able to continue with a legal structure of an actual retail mode, and that will continue the, the charge forward. There's no limit to how big we can grow in that structure. Uh, I'll just add to it, Jeremy. Uh, I love how you answer. So clean, so right. I'm sitting and I'm thinking like, he says, you know how to put the words. But uh, the, uh, what's going to happen after this, The on the back end, the rewards are going to be even more greater because by that time, all of your, uh, like you have groups, downlines will grow, their, their, their portfolio will grow. So the uni level checks, are going to be so much bigger and they will grow bigger and bigger. You so, so the residual is going to be so much more rewarding by that time. Yeah. And that's the base of the question with the compounding, the residuals, the growth. I mean, if you understand compounding, yeah. And the way that the way that the Forex is going now and the crypto yeah. to follow the, you know, the compounding, the, the, the funds are just going to be, you know, enormous which means that the residual is going to be enormous. Yes, exactly. Yes, yeah, so, so, the, so the bottom line, line, trading is not going to stop when we reach half a billion, right? To answer your question. It will just start from there. So this is very important. So it's a very long-term project. And this residual bonuses will, will continue to roll up, you know, day after day, month after month. So it's very powerful. Hmm. There's going to be too much detail. Will that be recruiting yeah, on the sorry. recruiting side as well, or just um, the trading side? Are we still going to be able to help build of the course, community of underneath course. that? Okay, excellent. Yeah, yeah. Still yeah and our, and our, we'll always use a customer, you know, just like we do now. It's a customer referral model, right? So it's it's not that we segregate recruiting and customers, right? It's that hey, come and enjoy this project and tell other people about it, right? So yeah, Richard, that'll never change. And there's coming a time, and, and and understand this: this will manifest as a full reality. We will see this in Daisy. There's coming a time where we will be hitting, as we say, on all cylinders, right? Where where we're going to see the crypto performing, we're going to see the longs performing, we're going to see the shorts performing, we're going to see the forex performing, we're going to see the commodities performing. Everything's going to be hitting in high gear, and we're going to see this just complete compound effect, not just in one area of the project. But it's going to be massive. And if, if people, and this was this was the vision from the very beginning, is to create a project where the residual component is so strong that anyone who builds with us and goes through the challenges with us, the back end reward is going to be like nothing we've ever seen in this industry. And, and I want to really be bold about that statement for two reasons. One is if we look at the traditional product space of network marketing outside of digital, outside of, of, of crowdfunding and trading, the, the traditional model, we understand that residual income is an illusion. We understand that residual income is only based upon people being able to 
are continuing to buy more products, right? In the traditional model, you either have auto ships that keep going through every month, or you have people buying new orders of some product and that creates residual. And we know that globally, that usually comes out to about eight to 10% of people that actually continue. So you actually build in, in the traditional world, you build something and then the residual decrease, it, it, it's, it's, it's very, uh, uh, it, it, it goes down, it goes down, it goes down percentage wise. So you work really hard to reach a goal and then you sort of have this declining residual income and it's all contingent upon people investing new money, uh, buying new product. In the digital world that we've seen of affiliate marketing, the same thing is true that, that because until now, the models that have been presented have all been front load models, meaning that the residual income is actually coming from new money and it's called a pyramid scheme and new money comes in and they, they pay out these percentages as long as they can sustain it. And it's very, very short lived as, as most of us have already seen these companies come and go, come and go. These business models are not sustainable. The real vision of Daisy. And the reason we're an equity crowdfunding model is we know that if we support the right projects and the right models, if that capital is truly compounding and growing long term, then what we do today for the first time in this industry, what we do today will actually pay us more tomorrow. And there's no end to what that can become. And, and th that's what makes Daisy so unique. And sometimes we don't capture that in words because we get caught up in a lot of the challenges and details. But the reality is we have the first business model in the marketplace that's open like this, open source, decentralized, available to the world that actually says the work that you do today will actually compound long term.